Thank you very much for joining us on Film Speak this week. My name is Andy Rory. Now, this week we celebrate an actor who has contributed immensely in the film industry, and he talks about his undying love for film. It's none other than Oliver Litondo. Let's take a look. His name resonates around the world. He's ranked among the greatest African actors. His acting career started at a tender age. My interest in, uh, in acting, I think, started when I was still very young in the village uh, in Kakamega, uh, where we used to imitate the American uh, missionaries. Uh, whenever they preached, they sounded to us like they were saying, Fort, 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 Fort. Uh, but they were English. their English was, of course, different from ours, because it was an American accent in English. So I would pretend that I were, I'm an American a preacher, and I would have an interpreter. Over the years, he nurtured his acting skills, playing different roles in local and international films. You are not doing your job. I'm part of this community. When I um, went to study abroad in the United States, um, I was... Uh, more interested in, in, in acting. I took part in uh, the um, university plays. Uh, my, my actual film interest started when I was in Sweden because there was at that time a Swedish director called Ingmar Bergman who was a very good uh, internationally known uh, director and um, he used to come to, to, to our university to our class to talk about film. After his studies abroad, he came back to Kenya and continued participating in the film industry. The first role that I did here in Kenya was uh, in a Swahili film called Mulevi. That was the first, I think, Swahili film to be made, not only here in Kenya, but I think in the uh, East African region. When, when was this? This was in 1968, 67, 68. It has never been an easy ride for Oliver. I had been working for a media house here, a television media house, and I just decided that I wanted to, to go back to the village. And just as he was settling and trying to get the village into him, his phone came ringing. Somebody wanted me for a part in a film that he was going to shoot here. After 30 years, he finally got the role of his dream, putting him on the spotlight. The British did this to me. We have to learn from our past. We must not forget. A role that saw famous Hollywood actor Morgan Freeman passed up for a Kenyan actor. The director, uh, Chadwick, um, uh, Justin, Justin, from the UK, said, well, you have the part, because I've been looking for somebody to take this part all over the world. So what's the first grader all about? It's a story of an 85-year-old freedom fighter, Kemani Maruge, who goes back to school for him to be able to read a letter. Have a letter. I must read it for myself. What did he find most interesting about the Kemani Maruge's character? The the part that interested me most was the fact that here is a chance for me to play a role in a true story related to Kenya, my own country. During the 2016 second edition of Riverwood Awards, Oliver Litondo was honored a lifetime award for his contribution in the Kenya film industry. This is my beautiful wife, Beldina Uma. Um, who is uh, the real force behind me. What is he currently up to? We have a company called Lakewood Films uh, that we formed uh, and is registered both in the US and in Kenya. And this company is um, geared towards producing films. What does Oliver think about the current generation of actors? You just be yourself. Convey the feelings naturally. Convey the character you're playing because you have studied it. You have studied the lines that the character is saying. Just be natural. Well, that's all the time we had for you this week on Film Speak. Do join me next week for more. Till then, it's bye bye.